it is important for us to understand that the future of the construction industry can only be protected if this industry invests in skills and in particular skills of young people. No public representative, where they are sold, would dare talk economic growth and jobs without putting the issue of transformation at the forefront. At the city of Johannesburg, we are determined to build an inclusive economy and as such, genuine, and I like to repeat this, genuine broad-based black economic empowerment will be our only yardstick in determining how we achieve this goal. Developing the bold environment in Africa is especially critical due to rapid urbanization. Our challenge is to create sustainable infrastructure action plans that provide dignity to our people while enhancing our global competitiveness. No government creates prosperity. Prosperity is created by the private sector and you, delegates who participate in the built environment, are part and parcel of those who have to create this prosperity. The President, in announcing the Stimulus and Recovery Plan, has said the following. The, recovery, the Stimulus and Recovery Plan prioritizes infrastructure spending as a key driver of economic activity. We want to see that happening at city level, not budget rolled over. Sunika have been in the game for over 30 years and specialised in all sorts of waterproofing, such as crystalline waterproofing with concrete rejuvenation and repair, boarded systems like this beautiful job right behind me, which is insulative for thermal and acoustic. We've done projects for Anglo-American, Gala Platinum. We work extensively with the mines, the commercial industry, industrial, and we know we can help you with your waterproofing. Call us, come visit us at the Totally Concrete Expo. We've been coming to the show since 2013, and we know it will work for you too. We talk about the alternative building technologies, but the one thing that is an advantage about alternative building technologies is that uh, it actually can be done quicker and it can be inclusive. So while we enter into agreements of teaching basic skills in the built environment such as bricklaying, we need to, together with our partners, revolutionize the way we deliver much needed assets. Infrastructure delivery therefore remains a, remains a game changer. It is therefore beyond doubt that the future holds major challenges and we need the solutions of the future today. Africa is arising and together we can build the continent.